We all know how important it is to have your Shopify store connected to not only your Instagram page, but also your Facebook page, your business Facebook page. And why that's so important? Well, it's important because now there is a feature where you can tag your exact products in a post. Say if I was wearing this tank top in a picture, I could then click on my tank top and then there will be a link that directs me directly back to this tank top to then purchase either in my Shopify store or now from your Instagram or your Facebook page. And we all know that Facebook controls Instagram because Facebook is the owner of Instagram and they make it super confusing to set this up. But hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a full guide on how to actually connect your Shopify store to your Facebook page and your Instagram page and then be able to set up shoppable posts so your customers can buy directly from your Instagram and your Facebook posts. All right, guys, let's get into it. Welcome back guys, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you are new to the channel, I talk about mostly building brands on Etsy and Shopify, but a lot of other entrepreneurship stuff as well. And I know I haven't posted in a month because I was out of town. So now I'm getting back on this bandwagon. Hopefully you get a lot of value out of this video. So make sure you like and subscribe and comment to any of your questions down below so we can help you out and get your questions answered. All right, guys, so as I mentioned before, we're gonna be setting up shoppable Instagram and Facebook posts. I'm gonna show you from start to finish how to set this up. So without further ado, the first thing that you need to have in order to set this up, some fundamental things that you need to have in order to make this possible. The first thing is that you need to have a professional Instagram account. So if you just opened your business for the first time, you might not be able to do this right away because you need to show Instagram and Facebook that you're a legitimate business so you might need to have more engagement some followers and start posting to even be allowed to do this in the first place so if you're a completely new Instagram account or Facebook page don't fret it's not broken you might just need to wait a little bit of time to get approved before this is even possible for you and Facebook and Instagram is are really not clear on what KPI or what point you have to hit to be able for them to unlock this gate for you to have shoppable posts. All you can do is make sure that you set up this stuff up now so that when it does come, you can have it set up. So you need to have a business Instagram page. So if your Instagram page right now is on a personal page, you need to go into your settings and go ahead and turn that into a business Instagram page as well as a business Facebook page for your Shopify store. Another thing just to take note of that if you're in a country where shoppable posts are not allowed on Instagram, some countries just don't allow it. You're kind of out of luck with this one because you're not gonna be able to set this up. So please don't watch any more of this video if you're one of the countries where Instagram shopping posts are not allowed. The next thing that you actually need to do is link your Facebook page to your website. When you come to your business Facebook page, there is an abundance in here and you're gonna add a button so if you come in here and click edit button unfortunately there's no shop now button you can use the learn more button and you can link your website here so when I view my Facebook page as say a guest this is what it's gonna look like and when I click learn more it's gonna actually go ahead and take me to the website now the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna connect both your Facebook page and your Instagram page to your Facebook business manager. Now, Facebook also just recently changed this and they're calling this the Meta Business Suite. So don't get confused. They're pretty much the same thing now. And the inside of the Facebook business manager, like, I'm sorry, it's not intuitive. It's not easy. They like try to confuse you on all angles. So what we're gonna actually do to get there, if I just come here and I type in the Facebook business manager here, and this is how one way you can get there, or if you already made a Facebook business manager or the meta business suite, you should be able to just log in to your personal Facebook page and get it from the sidebar there. But here is another option if you just Google it. Well, it just brought me there right away from just doing that. And then what I'm looking for when I click the commerce button, and then I come over to here where it says business settings what i'm looking to do to connect the page in the instagram account is here on the side you can see the instagram account i'm going to go ahead and add that instagram account and then i'm also going to add page i'm going to go ahead and add that page as well 
both inside this of the meta business suite <laughs> all right and now the next thing that i need to make sure that i do is i need to make sure that my domain is verified so in order to do that what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to go to brand safety and i'm going to go and click on domains and then you it's going to prompt you to go and verify your domain now this domain is already verified but what it's going to do is it's going to tell you that you need to input a snippet of code in between in Shopify, normally the liquid dot theme header option. So here's a video showing you how I did this in my website. And you need to make sure that this code is in between the he both heads of your liquid dot theme folder. Once you do that and save that into your theme, it's gonna go ahead and verify your domain. Another thing to know is that all of your products, when they do finally get synced, they need to comply with the Facebook commerce policies. Some of your products will not get published or not, they will not be able to be linked if they don't comply with the Facebook policies. Next part of this, after we finished all that, is we need to actually go into your Shopify account and we need to add Facebook as a sales channel. So when you come in here and type in Facebook, we're gonna go to the Facebook sales channel here and you're going to add it. Now in this account, it's already added, but if you are doing this for the first time, it's gonna look something like this, where you're going to prepare your account for the setup. What it's gonna ask you to do is log into your Facebook account, then it's gonna connect it to your Facebook business manager. It's gonna make sure that your that domain is verified. If it does ask you anything about data sharing and optimizing for an API, you're gonna just wanna make sure that it's optimized for API conversion at its maximum. And then you're just gonna continue connecting everything. Now, once this is all linked up, it should look like a page like this, where it says sell your Instagram products, and then you're going to start that setup. And that's gonna bring you to another set of logins and connections to make sure that that is all set up. And again, anywhere in there where it asks for what you wanna optimize for, and you wanna optimize it for the API conversion at the maximum. Especially important to have this set up when you start running ads on Facebook and Instagram, because people are maybe see your ad, they might go check your Instagram or maybe your Facebook page to check out all that social proof from your ads. So it's really important that you have an active Facebook and Instagram account when you start running paid traffic. And the ease of them being able to access the products that they want by doing this is super, super big. So another thing that's really important for me to know and share with you guys is it's really important to make sure that you're attending to all of your customer service inquiries on Instagram comments, on Instagram DMs, on Facebook private messages, on Facebook comments. They're all potential money to be made. And when people are inquiring through those sales channels, it's probably because they either have an issue with their order or they wanna buy something. So it's really important that you're making sure that you're answering all of your comments, DMs, PMs, whatever it is. Also emails, just emails alone from your Shopify store. I had a really hard time doing this because once I set this up and I started running ads, you get a lot of questions. And one company that I actually use that solved all of this for me is a company called Gorgeous. And what it does, it integrates with my Facebook account, my Instagram account, my TikTok account, and my Shopify account. So anytime I get a comment, a personal message, a response to an ad, whenever I I get an email whenever I have someone fill out a contact form or message me in my chat bot on my website I'm able to go ahead and answer all of those messages so whenever I get a message anywhere basically it all flows into one database and gorgeous is the software that I use that has solved this problem for me if you're spending hundreds maybe even thousands of dollars a day on Facebook ads you have to be responding to all of your comments and if you're split testing 50 ads at a time it's really really hard to go inside the Facebook Facebook ads manager and respond back to each comment, each question, each DM. Gorgeous is going to consolidate all of that customer service for you. This is just the beginning of the features that they offer. Thinking all of your customer service inquiries is just the beginning. So um, with the chatbot, I have automated campaigns that can fire the, with the chatbot based off of different events or things that are going on in your store. So for instance, if you are out of stock of an item, you can have the chatbot fire an automatic campaign that puts 
up a message on that product page and say, hey, if you would like to pre-order this now um, and actually make sales within the chatbot. It's literally the craziest customer service software out there. I cannot thank them enough. They have literally solved all my customer service needs. And as I said, if you're spending money on, on ads for your Shopify store, which you probably are, or even if you're not, you just have enough traffic coming to your website, you're gonna be getting questions on every single sales channel that there is and if you're not answering that those messages then you're kind of missing out on making more money because like i said when people are reaching out to you they're either interested in buying something or need help with their problems go check out gorgeous their link is in my description and i hope you got some real value out of this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys